The Legend of Zelda By far one of the most popular video games ever made, it has been the center of many controversies. Top 10 Scariest Zelda Monsters Starting off with the notorious Majora's Mask, it's easy to see why this title made it on the list. You can almost base it solely off that moon monstrosity in the background, which I can only assume is related to the demon sun from Super Mario Bros. 3. At number 10, we have got a mechanical monster. It is the boss of Snowhead Temple. It has the face of a human, the body of a bull, and a giant eyeball in its back. In order to defeat this boss, you have to wear a Goron mask and chase it around. Mind you, it drops bombs, kicks boulders at you, and occasionally fires laser beams from its horns. If you survive this ordeal and you are able to defeat the boss, you see a cutscene of the bull's final demise, where it has a last breath, afraid and confused, charges into a wall ending its life, and breaking the curse it held on the Goron village. It's time to look at Skyward Sword. Coming in at number 9 is Coloctus, an empty armor brought back to life by Garahim. It has a whopping number of six arms, which are controlled by a black ghostly entity. It has one opening containing its weak spot, which it protects with a pair of its many arms. In order to defeat this monster, Link has to use a whip to literally tear its arms off of its body. This leaves the monster's weak spot unguarded, so Link can attack its heart, or probably what's left of its soul. After a series of relentless attacks by both party members, Coluctus puts himself back together, now revealing the other half of him which was hidden underground. He is even angrier than before and you must once again battle him in his new form. Thankfully, you are now able to grab his sword and use it to dismantle him once and for all. I think what's really scary here is the convulsions it makes when its life is ending. The Twilight Princess. This title already had many, many dark themes to begin with. But one mini boss did manage to send a few extra chills up my spine. At number 8, the Dark Hammer. What made this knight wielding a giant metal spike ball even more terrifying than before is that you were confined with it in a small, narrow cage. In order to defeat this fiend, you had to grapple hook over its head to attack its weak spot, which happened to be its tail. After defeating Dark Hammer, you are rewarded. As it collapses, it leaves behind an item. Link has now acquired the Ball and Chain item. The Wind Wicker was a very bright and colorful game. It did, however, still have its dark content as any other Zelda game did. At number 7, we have Godem. Like a floating hand and head weren't scary enough, there was a deadly eye in the palm of each hand. To defeat this boss, you had to use your arrow to take out each eye, before placing a bomb in its mouth. While aiming during battle, both hands and head attack you. Talk about keeping alert. The head would spit explosives while the hands tried to crush you or push you out of the arena. Upon completion of this boss, it reveals a hidden path. 
Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And stay tuned for part 2 where we continue the countdown from 10 to number 1.